You won't find a GPU that's faster than this. Also, Meta deciding that they're faster than Twitter and, hey, NVIDIA, let's give you more RAM. Uh, it's faster somehow. I don't know. Let's get into the hot news, everybody. I'm your Brett host. We're going to be going over the hottest tech news I can find on the internet while you enjoy your breakfast this Friday, July 7th, 2023. I just got back from the hospital. How was it? I spent 25% of my last two days on the road. Pass. I did pass a lot. Double of it and give it to the next person. Oh, we're going to be doing that when we go to LTX at the end of this month. That's going to be fun. And it's also fun to overclock. Have you tried it yourself? Let me know down below. But in case you've never gotten into extreme overclocking with liquid nitrogen, don't worry. Other people will do it for you, including people who want to break the world records with the fastest clock speed ever recorded on GPU happening yesterday. Uh, and it was 3.975 gigahertz. And then it happened again. Another time. And then it was four gigahertz. That was coming from Splave, who got 4,000 megahertz on an Asus water-cooled little bad boy. The only disappointing thing about this whole thing, which I, I'm not going to take away from the technical aptitude that it takes in order to liquid nitrogen overclock. This is an amazing accomplishment, considering the fact that the first three gigahertz GPU was seven years ago by Dr. Wheeze and Vivi at a uh, Galaxy OC event. They did a 1060. It's South Africans who did the first yeah, three yeah. gigahertz overclock. It's amazing. The disappointing part. This is 4,005 megahertz on a 4090. Uh, yeah. It, it's like 85 more. Pushed it's, 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 it's a great feat. It's a little light on the memes. That's the only thing that I'm going to put out there. You can see, verify the world record in case you want to. But let me know, what is the fastest you've ever gotten a GPU to go? I want to hear from you down below in the comments. The last time I overclocked a GPU was probably the 20 series. I haven't gotten around to it recently you don't even want to know i know it was the 10 series when we competed in that overclocking competition in south africa where i destroyed you and everybody but else i'm, leaving. I'm the two-time back-to-back <laughs> amateur south african overclocker you're welcome i was also the number one amateur overclocker in the world the and two time you know what i'm not an amateur at segues to our sponsor. Today's video is sponsored by Ugreen and their Nexode 100 watt charger. If you're looking for a small, powerful Ganex brick that can charge all of your devices, look no further because it supports up to 100 watt max fast charge with you connecting a single USB-C device to get up to that 100 watts of charging with a five amp current, which can charge the M2 MacBook Air from dead to 55% in less than 30 minutes. But it's also a four in one multi-port charger with three USB-C ports and a USB-A port to provide 100 watts to phones, tablets, laptops, and more. And you've got safety and reliability baked in with the dynamic temperature sensor that monitors the temperature and the intelligent PMW chip, which adjusts power outputs to safeguard your devices. And it's got a wide compatibility supporting power delivery 3.0, quick charge 4 plus and more, making it compatible with MacBooks, Dell XPS, whatever laptop you're looking to USB-C charge on, this thing can handle it. And it's got the foldable plug design that makes it so easy to fit in the palm of your hands, making it compact and easy to travel with. And you can check out Ugreen's Prime Day deals where you can get up to 36% off this 100 watt Ganex charger. Charge your devices, save some money with Ugreen's Prime Day sale. Big thanks to them for sponsoring today's video. That felt too much like Linus. That's how he Just does a little. It. That didn't feel like hot news at all. And you know what doesn't feel like Twitter? Just kidding, it does. Threads, it's now available as of yesterday. And boy, howdy, do people jump on it. Are you on Threads already? I am. Reese is already on Threads. My account was already pre-made because I had an Instagram account. One of the things that has been committed to by the CEO of Instagram is that they will not have ads until they have a clear path to obtaining a billion people on the app which might be sooner than you think because within the first few hours, they had over 30 million people sign up. And that is just not including me because this I signed up after this article was posted and I'm sure it's even higher now, but it does look like it is having some rapid adoption, which is neat. I mean, it's it's, it's it's already, if you have an Instagram account, you, you can yeah. easily set up a Threads account. That's it took all. took me less than like 30 seconds. It was not hard at all. And the CEO of Instagram addressing things on the app, saying that they're going to be adding features and changing things as they're happening. Let me know if you signed up for Threads. Do you find it better than Twitter or not? I can tell you one person who's not very enthused about this entire move. You could probably guess it's Elon Musk and he's threatening to sue because they stole things that they were a copycat. They took stuff, which Meta has already come out and said, none of our threads engineers were former Twitter employees. So like we couldn't have stole things because that's the basis of Elon's entire argument is that they had former Twitter employees on their team and therefore they had trade secrets and I mean, it's not too hard considering the fact that Elon laid off a lot of the staff. Oh yeah. So they're they're free flowing out there, but Meta coming out and saying they're not worried because nobody on the engineering team was part of them. But Elon confirming that competition is fine. Cheating 
is not. Because they Elon has never cheated. Tesla's never done things below the table or over the belt uh, ever before. Hasn't happened. Mm -hmm. But there still are some problems with thread that threads that needs to get resolved. Number one, we're still gonna call them tweets. That's the I'm gonna resolve that for everybody here. Number two, uh, you can't delete your threads account unless you delete your entire Instagram account. It's dumb. Some people are bummed about that. I it's it's part of Instagram. It shouldn't it, be. It's an extension at this point. But then it should be in the main app. It should. It, that if it, I don't know, that's how I feel about it. Let me know how you feel about it down below. And we're gonna feel things with foldable devices soon because Samsung has their Galaxy Unpacked event on July 26th at 7 a.m. Eastern, just in case you were wondering. And in case you're wondering if we're getting a voiceover Reese today, a little bit, that's kind of how UFD kinda, deals yeah. always works, but you also get fleshy Reese. Oh, I'm glad you have that deal. I was gonna put that as like a main article, but then I looked at UFD deals and I saw that you See, it. he's looking at UFD deals, which you guys should be as well, because we have the Corsair 5000D tempered glass mid-tower ATX case. We just gave a PC away in that. Absolutely phenomenal case, going for only $104.99 with included promo code, making it $70 off. Oh man, that's like 50 or $60 less than I got it for. I know. Oh. And next up, we have the Corsair HX850, the 850 watt 80 plus platinum power Supply. Platinium? It's good stuff. Like how you guys say aluminium. Yeah, platinium. You can pick up this power supply for only $124.99 with the promo code making it $60 off. Woo! That's more than $4. <laughs> that is more than $4. Next up, we have the MSI Mac Radeon RX 6750 XT. 12 gig graphics card going for only $319. After the rebate and after promo code. You know how you know that's not an NVIDIA graphics card? Because it gave you more than eight gigabytes of Vero. <laughs> Got him! I was waiting for something like that. Last but not least, we have the AMD Ryzen 9 7950X3D desktop CPU going for only $557 with the promo code, making it $142 off. Fun fact, that makes it cheaper than the 7950X. Yes. That is an incredible price. The, the whole reason the 7950X3D was poorly reviewed was that you could just get the 7950X, but if it's cheaper, this is that's a no-brainer if you need a 6 core. Do it. Deals are done. And with done. that, the deals are done. We gave this one away. We're going to be building a PC with the 7950X tomorrow. Yeah. And then we're going to give that one away as well. It's going to have a 7900 XTX in there as well. It's got that Yeston GPU. Oh, you get it. We're doing that. We're doing that today. Actually, if you want to come watch us, we're going to be live as soon as this episode goes out over on Twitch. We've got PC giveaways going on with the 4070 Ti PC and a monitor and all that. You got the package. What do you mean? Did I get it? I didn't know what was in it. Oh, it was just a big box. You could have opened all of my packages. I didn't. No, you don't love to handle my package. No. You're not the courier no. guy. I feel too bad about opening them. That's that's fine. Well, thank you, Reese, for all those deals. And it turns out OpenAI's got a deal for all of their developers. They want to give GPT-4 to you if you're a developer who wants it. They're they're rolling it out. You used to be the top clientele who used to get it. Now it's going to be everybody who's paying can get GPT-4, which is allegedly the better AI. It hallucinates less frequently. A little bit less. Which I, I know we're using like hallucinate as the um, official technical term for how AI gets things wrong, but like, can we just call it being wrong? Yeah, it's kind of weird. It's lying to you, although it doesn't have the ability to lie because uh, as far as we know, it has no sentience, but then it also has, doesn't have the ability to hallucinate either. Yeah. Because it does weird, weird technical jargon. You can't perceive reality. So whatever phrase we use, we're just anthropomorphizing a large language model. And I choose to say that it's lying. That's that's my verb that I'm going for. And the verb that people have gone with NVIDIA has typically been screw and then followed by the the word you. And uh, maybe a few people will be less likely to do that come July 18th. Yeah. Because it's being reported that that is when the 4060 Ti with 16 gigabytes of VRAM will finally be dropping. This is based on a leaked embargo timeline of that being on shelf as of July 18th. The 4060 Ti 16 gigabyte does fix the VRAM complaint that a lot of people have had, but it doesn't fix any of the complaints I had because I'm sorry, I'm in the camp that like eight gigabytes is kind of fine for most people because you're not pushing it to ultra settings. You're gonna be rocking it medium to high and in which case you're not necessarily using it. The thing that bothers me the most is the memory bandwidth and the PCI Express interface, which neither of those have been updated. So you do get 16 gigabytes of VRAM, but it's still slow as all crap at 288 gigabytes per second, which is still less than the 3060. It's less than the 3060. This is just bad. They, they're not fixing the main problem, which is the VRAM slowest crap. I don't know. Let me know what you think of the 4060 Ti. Do you forgive them? Is the VRAM debacle so emblazoned in your mind that you can't have a conversation outside of the VRAM amount? And like, you're just like, now it's 16 gigabytes. Nvidia good. Where are you at? That's a weird one.
Is it? Or are you weird? I am. We'll see you back here on Monday for more of the Hops Tech News, friends. Thank you.